Last night was the official red carpet world premiere for Marvel Studios' Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania. And so this film obviously it comes out and officially releases in theaters worldwide on February 17th. That's super exciting. But one of the weird things about this movie is that we haven't seen a whole lot of merchandise, specifically when it comes to the Marvel Legends line. Usually these figures would be announced and revealed not for pre-order months ahead of time. But due to delays and reschedulings and shifts and delays with this movie and the whole Marvel Studios slate, things got a little wonky. And now today, just a little over a week, uh, like two weeks from the release of Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania, we now have the official reveal of the Marvel Legends wave. They're going to go out for pre-order tomorrow, I believe, so that's super exciting. Uh, but let's take a look. First of all, with the comic figures, we have a future Ant-Man here. I'm more interested in the MCU stuff rather than comics, so I'm going to kind of zip right through these. We have an Ultron, which I feel like is kind of basic. We just got at least one new Ultron last year, and this really doesn't look that much different, so that's eh. Uh, we do have Crossfire, though, who looks great. Um, of course, a classic Ant-Man villain, so really excited to see that he's going to be part of this wave. But, of course, Ant-Man's arch enemy from the comics, Egghead. Super excited that he's going to be uh, having a spot here as well. He looks really cool. Um, you know, got the business suit attire. Very comics accurate looking, so I love the look of that. But as for our MCU stuff, we, of course, start off with Paul Rudd's character of Scott Lang, a.k.a. Ant-Man, the title hero. And... He looks all right. I mean, specifically when you look at the head sculpt comparison, definitely the figure from the first 10 years uh, has the best head sculpt. I have both that and the Ant-Man and the Wasp figure. I love both of those. This one, I mean, it doesn't look terrible, but just compared to the past ones, it's not looking great. Uh, but the Ant-Man suit itself also, I, I don't really like the over-designing of this. I much prefer his suit from Avengers Endgame and Ant-Man and the Wasp. So this is one that I'm not super excited about. But the Wasp is another interesting one because this suit, it's another one that I think I prefer her suit from Ant-Man and the Wasp. I like the blues and the brighter yellows on this, but I don't like the extra black specifically on the helmet there. Um, and I mean, like I said, the blue looks good, but other than that, it's, eh. The head sculpt, though, the head sculpt on this looks amazing. I mean, we got the Evangeline Lily Hope Van Dyne head sculpt with the ponytail from Man and the Wasp. Now she has the, the shorter hair for this movie, and I think this head sculpt looks amazing. Now, as for our big, bad main villain of this film, to kick off Phase 5, we have the introduction of Jonathan Majors as Kang the Conqueror, and this figure is by far the one I am most excited for because this just looks awesome. I love his design in this movie. Just the translation from comics to the screen here is beautiful to see. Um, a little disappointed we're not getting a Jonathan Majors head sculpt with this, um, but, I mean, the blue face is the one I would have preferred anyway. Um, but he looks great here. I mean, the cape, the texturing, the metallic purple, the blue on the face, the markings, everything about this figure looks amazing. So I absolutely love this. But as for a build a figure of the wave, that is going to be Cassie Lang, AK Statue. Of course, Scott Lang's daughter after Avengers Endgame. She grew up a bit and now she's going to be joining her father and she's going to become her own hero at Stature, and most likely go on to join the Young Avengers in the MCU. So you can see the height difference here. Of course, she kind of takes on the giant man type power set here and she is going to be the builder figure so that's really interesting i wasn't really expecting that um but we do have it uh would have been nice if we also had a regular sized six inch uh stature figure as well um but anyway she looks right here i mean i love the suit the head sculpt for katherine newton with the the brown hair this looks great I, her suit in this movie is very much it's pretty much the wasp suit just purple instead of yellow uh but i think it looks great i think it looks really really cool here again the head sculpt looks good the helmet everything about it i believe she's wearing sneakers that's definitely interesting uh like i said i wasn't expecting her to be the build a figure but I was hoping it would be MODOK because we know we're going to be getting MODOK in this movie. We got a couple brief glimpses in the trailers. We got this official Funko Pop. So hopefully at least somewhere down the line, maybe even released as a deluxe figure or store exclusive, something like that. Hopefully at some point we will get MODOK from the MCU from Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania because he's one of my favorite Marvel villains. And so this would be a really cool one to get. But anyways, guys, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. What do you think about the official reveal of the Marvel Legends Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania wave of figures, which again are going to be going up for pre-order tomorrow uh, on February 8th. 
uh, I believe at 1 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So this is super exciting. This film is just a few weeks away. Not sure when the figures are going to officially release, uh, but I'm excited. So anyways, guys, thanks so much for watching. Please drop a give and enjoy this video and hit the subscribe button so I can keep it to date on everything goes on in the Marvel life.